Hey guys, this uh, is a quick video tutorial showing you how to get drivers for your Mac or PC. Um, it's basically the same way for both of them. So, I'm now here to introduce you to this website. Okay, printer driver downloads. This is actually what you have to not do. Okay, don't go to any websites where you can get automatically uh, um, drivers for any printer out there or anything like that. They usually cost money or they're viruses. Uh, there's very few ones that are actually free and work and um, you don't want this you want the legit ones right away so instead of just uh, giving you guys the drivers and links to them I'm just gonna show you how to get them so you can do it yourself um, even after that if you guys still can't find the correct driver that you need for your Mac or PC for anything whether it's your camera printer scanner whatever um, just hit me up right here in comment section and um, I'll get back to you right away with the link uh, of where you're supposed to download the driver from or I can link you up to my Dropbox and then you can just download it from there either way um, you'll get your drivers okay so let's say you want your driver for your Canon okay T3i because the CD that came with it is way too old and you have a Mac or PC that's updated and um, those drivers just don't work or uh, programs that came with it, any software that came with it. So instead of going to something like this, okay, this type of website, I'm just gonna close this up so don't go to those type of websites. You're gonna look for your driver at canon.ca, for example. Um, so if your camera, the brand name's Canon or Nikon, you're gonna put canon.com and you're gonna look in here, okay? Always go to support. In support, Okay, you're gonna pick where you are. Um, some websites know already where you are, and they even change your URL to whatever they are. So I'm in Canada right now. So, such as Epson, for example, I put Epson.com, but it changed it automatically to .ca. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys first the long way. So this is pretty much the long way. So you have to pick what you guys have. So usually it's consumer home and office. Okay usually so that's where the cameras are in okay uh, these are you have various things right here as you can see scanners camcorders everything I'm just gonna go to cameras just for an example at the moment and we're gonna pick a very common one which is the Canon let's say T2i okay there's a 3ti actually the 3ti it's pretty cheap now so I would say you it's gonna go up in sales. Uh, so here's drivers and software. So we're gonna go into that. Okay, and from here you're gonna pick what your OS is. Okay, so I have a Mac. You can put Windows 8 for example. Um, my Mac is up to date, so this is the most up to date one, 10.9. Okay, if um, let's say you have 10.9, but Canon only has up to 10.8. Now let's say that's the case. Just download 10.8. It'll probably work on your Mac. Um, for PCs, yeah, make sure it's the correct thing. The x64 just means that it's 64-bit, so make sure that you have that. Or if you have the 32, then just download this. Uh, right now, everybody, well, almost everybody has 64, so pick that. Um, you can make you can make sure just uh, looking up on your settings what your uh, PC is anyways um, so that's the long way I'm just gonna click on it so you guys can see so once I select that this will update and give me all the stuff that I can download from it so there's the software applications firmware and uh, that's it so the firmware would be the drivers for example okay software applications they're pretty much drivers but yeah, they they are. There's actually software. It's um, it's actually stuff that you're gonna open up. Okay, so these would be the drivers, the firmware. Okay, uh, there's also some stuff that's labels drivers. So don't get that confused. Um, so this is the long way of getting to it. If you can't find it, the easy way. The easy way would be just to Google it. So here I have this open, uh, Fujifilm. I just, you know, some people have Fujifilm cameras. I'm just giving the examples of camera, okay? So I, I'm just typing in Fujifilm drivers on Google, okay? And this will come up. 
okay so that way you can go directly to it and even better if you know the model number of whatever you're looking for such as a uh, printer of a printer that's uh, Epson WF7510 usually the model numbers right there on the camera or on the printer it's right there it's numbers with uh, some letters or just numbers usually it's a mix of both um, you just type that in plus drivers and you will get something like this on Google then you just click on it okay the Epson things kinda slow so wait for it and there you are there you have the printer drivers and other stuff so that's how you get to it and here, here you can select sometimes they detect it by themselves um, but anyways that's the short way and if you're lucky you can just google it put down the model number and you're done for if you can't find it that way then go to the website okay you have to know the brand of whatever you're looking for okay the brand name and then look for it that way so this is the long way this is the short way it works it's the same thing for Canon I can type in Canon C3i drivers it'll find it for me um, same thing for printers or else you're gonna have to go to the website itself and look for drivers and do it the whole long way of doing it okay so you have to look for your printer and all that stuff obviously Google has been working pretty well before it wasn't as easy but right now it's really easy uh, to look for drivers so I would do it the Google way if you really can't find it do it the long way if you can't find it that way either then just hit me up just write down in the comments area what driver you need I'll get it for you right away um, I usually take an hour to respond but um, when I'm really busy I do take 12 hours um, I cannot usually answer um, in less than an hour just because the emails notifications don't get to me uh, that fast so it's not my fault guys anyways um, if you guys have any problems questions comments about any drivers or software that you need just uh, write it down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.